Boom. We got her. All right, today I'm going to show you my, uh, I don't know what to call it, my blow dart and reel. What I got here is uh, your standard size blow dart, right? And I attached a fishing reel onto it. Now cheapo. And at the end, I've got this, uh, this is what they call a stunner, and then I, I pushed a fishing hook through it. So, I might have to add a picture so you can see how that looks. But that's the projectile. And I put a little of this arrow fletching stuff, whatever they call it, right here in the little corner and that keeps that thing from moving up and down now at the end I just tie the four pound test on to the end of it and I use four pounds because honestly what are you going to shoot that's that strong you know it might be a bird or a small fish probably going to die on impact anyways but see the advantage using a hook is it has a barb where the ones that come with it have nothing on the tip. It's going to slide right out. So I go and, and buy these, uh, they're called uh, frog hooks. And I take this little spring off of here and I stick it in my vise and I, I heat it up with my uh, torch. Right? And then I work my way up. I have it sitting like this and I keep straightening it up as I go up and eventually it looks kind of like that and then I hit it with a hammer on a flat surface and I, I, may, I try to make it perfectly flat push it in backwards shake it down until you can feel it drop and you can see it's right there and then, then it's ready to fire okay so you want to make sure you hit your button because if you don't, it'll come shooting out and then bounce right back and hit you in the arm. And it's going to stick in you and not your target. So, Boom! We got her. Cause I'm deadly. I'm reeling my my prey in. Which is this deadly block of wood. Haha. <laughs> As you can see, it is pretty freaking accurate. And you can see yourself reeling in a uh, small fish or a frog or bird on that thing. I mean, if you were a prepper or something, you'd probably love to have a cheap little tool like this handy for when man devastates all the wildlife and all that's left are sparrows and frogs and small fish. So, I mean, I, I think this is mostly like a kid's toy in reality, but a very neat kid's toy. So, uh, I might show a couple pictures and uh, I think that's it for this video.